This is Twit. Okay, now last week I had mentioned Ghost. Um, it was a vulnerability that had just been posted. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, I mistakenly believed that it was tied to open wall because it was an, it was being it was in the open wall mailing list and that's the link that I had upon and, and I promised to look into it for today's podcast. Well, it turns out it's just a straight up very bad uh, Linux vulnerability oh. uh, which which is yeah, which is has has, has existed since 2000 and was, sort of coincidentally removed in 2012. But it existed for 12 years, and it was never perceived until researchers, researchers at Qualys um, just were doing an internal security audit and stumbled over this thing. Since even though it was, it was removed, because it wasn't at the time seen as a, as a security vulnerability, it's it it still exists in many packages which are deployed that haven't bothered to update themselves to the latest to, to the very latest. It's it's in glibc, and it is a a one of the more fundamental functions that exists. Um, it's in the function. Um, I'm looking for it in my notes. Glibc I is on every is everywhere. Oh, it is. Well, that's a library okay. <laughs> that that basically you, you need. Well, yes, because it provides get host by name function. Get host by name is DNS lookup. Get host by name, just like it sounds. Get the IP of this computer by its name. So, um, so Qualys immediately alerted the major Linux distributors about the security hole. Um, and by the time this thing became public, most had released patches for it. Um, it's it's interesting in that you would you would tend to think that it would be difficult to exploit. Um, it turns out that it it overwrites the heap, which is the um, the, the stack is one of the dynamic uh, allocation structures that grows down. The heap typically grows up from the bottom of memory where the stack grows down from the top of memory um, just in terms of the way mem memory is allocated. And at most, a character pointer can be overwritten. Now on a 32 on a 32 bit or a uh, on a 32 bit machine that's 4 bytes of memory. On a 64 bit machine that's 8 bytes of memory. That is that's the natural size of a pointer on those hardware architectures. And so you'd think, eh, you know, <laughs> you really can't do much with 4 bytes or maybe 8 bytes. And what you can overwrite is strictly limited. You can only overwrite digits and dots and a terminating null. So what that tells us is that there was a mistake in the function such that the DNS, the, the sort of the ASCII version of the DNS um, IP address could like just barely overflow the end of some buffer where just so like one, you know, only those characters. Well, it turns out that despite those limitations, arbitrary code execution can be achieved. And as a proof of concept, they developed a full-fledged remote exploit against the Exum mail server, which bypasses all existing protections, address space layout randomization, the, the, the no execute bit on the segments and everything. And in, in one of the, I think it was um, uh, ZDNet that, that wrote, unlike most secure, or like, unlike some security announcements, um, these guys are not crying wolf. Qualys has developed a proof of concept in which simply sending a specially created email to a mail server enabled them to create a remote shell to the Unix machine. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, holy it's convenient. crap. That's really convenient, yeah. yeah. So, okay, so um, 
because it wasn't seen before as a security problem, um, it wasn't, you know, th there was no, there, there was no move to go back and retroactively make sure that nobody was using this, this 12 year span of G lib C libraries. So, uh, it, it exists in any Linux system that was built with G lib C 2.2 release, which was released on November 10th, 2000. And it was fixed in between releases of GLIB um, C versions 2.17 and 2.18. So um, anyway, it is, it, it, this is the kind of thing where you absolutely want to make sure if, if you have exposure to the public internet, specifically if you're running a server, a, a, a Linux, a Red Hat, Debian, CentOS, uh, Ubuntu, I mean, just across the board, as you said, Leo, glibc is, is, is intrinsic to Linux. It is, it's, you know, core networking functionality. So th this was a biggie. Definitely something that you want to make sure uh, you've gotten yourself patched for. Yeah. Wow.